welcome to the channel guys the cryptocurrency market it's not looking too good today simply because it's not green but it was expected i always said and i'm gonna repeat myself ups and downs are normal in any market and of course after having about 15 billion pumped in in few days into the market some people are gonna have to take profits money will come out of it and let's see how far it will go currently bitcoin is slightly up to almost $3,980, uh, Ethereum 146, EOS 377, Litecoin $49, although Litecoin yesterday was nearly $52, I believe, more or less, uh, not quite sure why is it up 0.11% in uh, the last 24 hours, but it doesn't matter, Bitcoin cash is down, uh, big uh, uh, percentage uh, down today is Binance con, a coin but I'm guessing is expected they pumped it very nicely whoever was doing it they did pump it very nicely and now it's gonna go back down they have to buy it cheaper that's how the game works Cardano 3% down another one that's gone down quite a bit and Bitcoin SV 1% down but in general if you were to look uh, in the last one week prices were a lot lower so therefore we are still looking good however i'm expecting to price to go lower than what we are having right now and if you do believe in uh technical analysis and whatnot which i'm not gonna do right here because i don't do these things uh a crypto market uh, gains for 15 billion in four days but analysts says bitcoin not ready for four thousand dollars now we had Bitcoin jumping slightly over $4,000 a few times, but as we can see, it has found a resistance in there. So it is going down and this analysis, which I'm not going to read right here, I'm going to put a link down below, says that we may see Bitcoin going down again, possibly to 3,700, 3,500. So this is not a financial advice, but maybe it's time if you have some and you believe in these things, to sell and buy back when it goes lower so potential bull pennant i'm not trying to fade it but not in a leverage position either if we break down 3800 is the first major support and may hold but for now i'm just holding spot waiting for long closer to 3720 so there you have it uh, apparently a professional analysis possibly a trader who knows it is predicting 3700 possibly uh, i am I think it will go down to that level but again as i said i'm not a financial advice so so don't so don't count on this uh you can read the full analysis in the link down below now samsung confirmed the x the s10 galaxy and of course the big thing was the private crypto key storage which i'm not quite sure surprised why are we getting this breaking news when we all knew all along that that's what samsung are actually working on uh but never nevertheless we're gonna have to have some hype in the news anyway you know you gotta make something out of it so there you have it folks private crypto key storage now personally myself i don't think this at least for now is gonna bring any mass adoption or any new uh, people to the market simply because they have private crypto key storage uh you know the people that are already in the cryptocurrency space have probably already have a ways of storing their cryptocurrency uh keys um if you don't um, it's time to learn how to do it because it's a very dangerous thing if you don't know how to store it uh but i guess for mass adoption eventually people maybe will be uh you know using it in the meantime i think it's just a good marketing uh you know ploy for samsung to uh, be able to sell more phones but i was looking at the price of these phones and i gotta be honest with you guys i mean they cost an arm and a leg these days and if you don't really need a new phone again not financial advice but probably i'll instead of buying a new phone so i can just store my private key i'll just store it as i am already doing it and use the money to buy some cheap bitcoins if the price goes eventually down <laughs> joking so hey yeah, folks no need to read the whole article once again pretty sure you probably have heard about it but Galaxy X10 is built with defense grade Samsung Knox as well as secure storage backed up by hardware which houses your private keys for blockchain enabled mobile services. Interesting thing, excuse me, we're gonna have to wait and see. I'm not gonna be buying a Galaxy S10, um, I don't need one, it's too expensive and 
I already have a safe way of storing my private keys. So that's uh, that. Now another good thing uh, I found on the news, I should say, is my Ether wallet. I like when I find, you know, we have things like this. Um, you know, everyone is all going crazy about decentralization and about uh, KYC uh, data. And I find it very interesting uh, when you know my Ether wallet or other uh, cryptocurrencies ventures do introduce uh, these things because let's be honest, that's probably a high percentage of why people entered crypto to be your own bank and you don't have to report to anyone and no one has to know what you're doing with your money. However, this is not the case as of lately. Uh, KYC is pretty much requested on most uh, places and therefore we're kind of losing where the crypto began and what the crypto was initially for but my Ethereum wallet seems to be uh, working on that thing and let's see is it going to be successful so Ethereum wallet provided my Ether wallet and crypto finance platform BT have unveiled a fully regulated crypto to fiat withdrawal system which doesn't require users to pass know your customers checks the exit to fiat gateway will allow cryptocurrency holders to exchange their digital assets including bitcoin and ethereum into euros and swiss francs at the moment we all know in the united states regulations are a lot stricter and that's why actually some exchanges uh, don't provide their services down there uh, or if they do in limited states the current limit for kyc less transfer is anywhere up to five thousand swiss francs roughly five thousand dollars at present exchange rate this exit to fiat gateway is a game changer for cryptocurrency users around the world because it allows people to exchange crypto to fiat without needing to be kyc verified i personally agree on that if you have nothing to hide um I'd say why not use it anyway you don't I don't like when we have to really put KYC again as I said even if you don't have nothing to hide that was the main purpose of, of cryptocurrency cut out the middleman you don't have to report to anyone and you do your own thing our technology will finally open the door for users to access cryptocurrency exchange service that is KYC less yet regularly compliant this comes as Mew announces the launch of its version 5 wallet as well as improving UX UI making the wallet more accessible for beginners it comes with a host of new features so you have folks again look, we're not going to read the whole article but an exciting things especially if you are a fan of the my ether wallet but even if it was not maybe this will bring you towards their site uh, looking forward to this unfortunately in the meantime there was nothing in regards to how much this may cost uh, is it going to be a high percentage uh, in order for you to be KYC um, uh, without KYC but it may cost quite a bit of money you just never know how much they will charge for these uh, transactions to occur looking forward to seeing that and finally something I came across on Twitter I've I'm sorry on uh, reddit I think it's very neat very nicely i'm not advertising anyone in here uh, actually the person behind it uh, has mentioned that uh, so it doesn't become another failure in his life he is making working for bitcoin.com free service and uh, freelancers can find a job and be paid in cryptocurrency it's a better website it looks like maybe some jobs are available maybe some jobs have been done already i can't confirm that because i've just discovered it but it's definitely interesting i think um it's nice and neat and eventually it you know hopefully I, I gotta say this i mean people like this are bringing uh you know cryptocurrencies to the masses in my opinion doing their bits uh for the cryptocurrency community and this is definitely an exciting uh thing if you go down you can see apparently there are some jobs some have already ended and some even apparently paid one bitcoin to complete the job not many jobs happening at the moment but i guess if we if it becomes uh, widespread and more famous and someone picked up on it and the guys you know i don't think he'll be able to succeed on his own but if he gets picked up by a company or someone buys it from him that find it interesting eventually we may see uh, this uh, being a gateway for freelancers to earn cryptocurrency while they're doing the jobs they love let's say or they 
they can do that's it for me guys hope you enjoyed this one any questions down below if you enjoy the channel in general feel free to subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next video bye for now